Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronix with another try on this tutorial. I'll be showing how you can easily edit a raw photo in Photoshop. And in this we're just going to be learning how to process a raw image in Photoshop and later on do the skin retouching when it comes to Photoshop. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel. So in order to import a raw photo into Photoshop, simply drag and drop it into photoshop or simply right click on it and select edit with photoshop to open the image into photoshop or to open the raw image into the camera raw filter so the way first thing to do when it comes to editing a raw image is simply correcting the lighting and contrast issues to your test so i'm just going to come right here and take the highlights down just like that and i'll do the same for the whites then i'll come and open up the shadows of this image and I'll add some contrast to the image. Then I'll take the blacks down, slide it around negative eight. And by just doing that, you can see what you have gotten to. So I'll simply expose the image a little bit. I think that looks okay. Then after doing that, I'll just come straight down to my HSL panel right here or the color mixer. And I'll simply play around with the hue, saturation, and luminance. When you're playing around with the hues, you're simply changing a color to look like a color on top of it or the color below it. For example, if at all we are changing or changing the hues of the oranges, we can make the oranges like a color below it, which is the yellows. Or we can make the oranges like the color on top of it, which is the reds, by moving the slider towards the left hand side. So to reset, simply double click on the slider or the pointer and it's going to reset. So in this case, what we want to do, we simply want to make the reds close to we want to make the reds close to the oranges and we want to make the oranges close to the yellows i think that is okay and what this is going to do it is going to eliminate the redness from the skin tone so i'm just going to take this a little bit higher i think that is okay so this is where we started and this is what we have right now so after doing that the next thing is basically going to be opening the image into photoshop for us to do the skin retouching and other adjustments so i'm just going to come and open the image into photoshop so the very first thing we do when it comes to opening the image into photoshop is first of all cropping the image so i'll just come right here to the crop tool and i'll simply crop the image in a ratio of 8 by 10 or 4 by 5 so i just crop the image so i think about there is okay so i'll just this to content aware and i'll simply increase just like that i think that is okay and i'll simply hit enter so when i hit enter it is going to automatically fill in the edges of this very image and we shall proceed uh, with the tutorial so as you can see photoshop is doing its work and it's trying to fill in these edges for us with this color so since it is a plain background it is just going to be a very easy fix for us so so what we're going to do after this is basically going to be doing the skin retouching using frequency separation so when you do skin retouching you're basically correcting the contrast issues and blending the skin tones of this image so i just want to eliminate this kind of dark area so i'll just come and get the patch tool and draw over the patch and drag it to a clean area to replace that area with clean or a clean part so after doing that we're just going to come the actions because i don't want the tutorial to be a long one and i'll simply come and select my 16-bit action because this is a 16-bit image so I'll just come and play the 16-bit action so after playing the action look for a skin area and take the radius down so for these kinds of images i'll simply come and take the radius up so you have to stop at the point where but you're just starting to lose out on the details within the skin so i'll just take this up a little bit more so at around five that is when i'm just starting to lose out on the textures in the skin and i'll click ok and the action is going to continue running and create for me these layers for frequency separation so if at all you're interested in the actions simply check the links in the description of this video so that you can support the channel for the content that i always create for you so you can purchase the actions by using the links in the description of this very video so after doing that just come and hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer 
So you are going to come to the brushes and right click and get the mixer brush tool. So if I told the mixer brush tool is not displaying under the brushes, you can always locate it around here. So after getting the mixer brush tool, the next thing is basically going to be coming and you set up the mixer brush tool. So make sure the brush is clean. And make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and this stroke has been selected. The weight is 9 for this and load 75. Mix at 90 and the flow of 100%. Make sure sample oils is not turned on. So we now have to work on the skin. So for this step, we are basically going to be evening out the skin tones using the mixer brush tool. And how basically, how this is going to work, we simply paint and mix skin tones just like that. So you left click and hold down if at all you're not using a retouching tablet. So you left click, hold down and you mix the skin tones just like that. So you mix colors that are looking alike and blend them together and blend the highlight alone. And while it is transitioning from one color to another, you use a small brush to blend the borders or the boundaries of that given area. So I'm just going to blend this highlight into the image because it was a little bit too much or harsh so I just come and kind of blend it better into the skin so that it can blend in and not look like a hot spot so I just come and blend the skin tone just like that so I come to the other area so I'll blend this dark area on the cheek just like that and blend also this area just like that so reduce on the size and blend these other areas just like that so basically this is what i'm trying to do for uh, the rest of uh, the mixing process and by the as you're mixing don't don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in you won't, you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions in the image so always make sure to edit or retouch your images at a distance so I'll reduce on the size and mix on the nose so you, how you always have to follow the direction of the area you're trying to work on so your nose is moving from up to down so always take the brush strokes in the direction or how a given area is shaped and you can see right by just doing that you can see we have just perfected uh, the face of uh, this lady right here so I'm just going to come and paint just like that so if I told you want to see what you have done so if I turn on the texture or high frequency layer and you can see the before after before and after so I'm just going to hide the high frequency layer and with the low frequency layer still selected we are going to be working on the rest of the skin so we are now working on the neck area and trying to mix and blend the transitions within the skin tones in the neck area. So I'm just going to paint just like that and increase on the size and paint just like that. Continue painting. And we are just trying to even out the skin tones. So if I told you working on another area, you always have to release the left click button and you left click once again and hold down and you mix on a new area to blend that given area so that is what we are trying to do in this step of frequency separation and you can see by just doing this we have now worked on the chest area so always make sure you refine everything so we're just going to scroll down and we work on other areas. So hold down the space back here and it's going to bring this hand and you left click and you drag up. If at all, you want to work on a brand new area. So you hold down the space back here and you drag just like that. So I'm just going to hold down the space bar and left click to drag in a direction of uh, the areas that we want to fix or work on. So you can see we now want to work on the hands of the model. So I'm just going to leave it right there 
and blend just like that on the hand blend the highlight alone just like that so basically you're trying to even out the transitions and to increase or decrease on the size of the mesa brush tool we are using the open and close brackets on the keyboard to increase or decrease on the size of our brush tool so just come and mix and blend reduce on the size and also come and blend the skin tones just like that you don't have to do so much for uh, these kinds of full body images you just have to do a less of the work so i'm just going to blend reduce on the size to work on a smaller area just like that and i'll also try to fix the fingers So like I always say, always take your time as you're trying to edit or work on the images because the more time you take on the image, the better the results are going to be at the end of the process. So always take and always take your time as you're trying to edit your images. So like we are almost done working on the skin and retouching at the skin so when you're done retouching the skin the next thing is always going to be seeing what you have done so just turn on the high frequency layer or the texture layer and zoom out to see the areas you may have or you may have missed out so you can see this is the image that we have so you can see the overall before after before after right now we are done editing this very image and doing the skin retouching so in case there are some pimples or blemishes you can zoom in and look for those pimples and blemishes and eliminate them so after doing this you can now come and create a selective color adjustment layer right there so for this i just want to darken the blacks in this image a little bit more so I just come the blacks under selective color and simply intensify the blacks a little bit so i'll come to the signs of the blacks and see why it works so i just want to desaturate the image slightly so i'll just take that up and i'll just cool down the image just a little bit so this is the before selective color and after before after so this is how you can easily edit a raw image in photoshop and after doing that you can simply save the image so in order to save the image simply come right here to file and come to export and come to export as so after exporting remember we want to save the image so that it doesn't change in color when we post it or print it out so come to file and come to export and select export as so when it comes to exporting an image in a better way possible i don't know why this is taking longer than usual so always come to file export and come to export as so it when it brings up this window simply make sure to select the format as jpeg under format right here and make sure you send you change the resample to by cubic sharper so simply click down here and select by cubic sharper so just come click on the drop down arrow and select by cubic sharper because as you're saving the image you want photoshop to slightly sharpen the image for us and after doing that make sure the options that says convert srgb and also a made color profile have been selected and simply export your image so make sure you select by cubic sharper right here and export the image to save it so this is how you can easily edit a raw photo in photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.